last episode, I went over how you could get started on your HTML document and first website. If you have not checked the first episode out, I highly recommend you do. So with this all of the way, let's get straight into it. So first, all we want to do is we want to run our server. And if you've been here from the last video, either you can do Control Shift P and put in live server. Or if you have the icon like I do this time, just click this. It just says start starting and it should pop it up. Here you can actually see I am in the window. It's really simple, you know. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add images, a little feed content here, um, web page, and also a bit of CSS inbuilt into HTML. So with this all out of the way, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how you can make a favorite card. So basically all you want to go here is wherever you want really. And it's going to be a link tag. So link and then it should be rel and such like so. Now instead of having this rel style sheet, change this to icon. So like so. And then href is can be like wherever your image is. So we're going to put IMG for here, and let's actually just grab an image really quickly. Okay, so all I did is I went to Google and I searched for YouTube, and I found this image right here. So now if we, and I plugged it into this, uh, now if we go into our web browser, as you guys can see, it's right here. It says YouTube logo and then hello YT. You can set this to whatever you like, and you can also hook it up to a file if you want. I just like links because it's a lot easier and it does not take that much space off. Now we can go back into our Visual Studio code and actually there's a new tag that I want to introduce to you guys that I think you guys might like. I use this tag a lot when I'm trying to center things because it literally is the center tag. Type in center, so it looks something like this and then basically just wrap the tag around wherever you want. So let's say we want to center our header right here. We do that and then all we go is back to the scene and now it's centered. We can do this for literally anything. Uh, we, if we want to center the button, if we do just wrap this around the link also because we're going to need to. Hit center and I messed up my arrow spacing. Get that, tab that in, tab this in so it just looks nicer. And then if we go back to here, this is also centered and it works just regularly. One of you guys also asked if I can make this like a pop up. So instead of taking it to the site, it takes you to like another tab. And of course we can do that. I mean, it's, I mean, HTML, you can do a lot of things in here. All we have to do to actually achieve this is go to our link here and type in target. This is an attribute in the link tag and change this to pop up. When you do that, you can save it and actually go back. And now if we click the same exact button, which used to just reload this, click it, it takes us to a completely new tab. By the subscribe if you haven't already. So now if we go back here, I want to introduce you to link, I mean IDs and classes. Now, this is a bit of CSS, but not really, because you're not actually going to be styling anything. But you guys will need this when you are doing CSS. So, let's say we want to create this as a class. Well, it's really simple, and if you want to do that, let's do class, and then whatever you want to call it. So, we could call it main content, let's say that. There is also more tags, of course. Let's say you want to space stuff out. So, if we go over here... And let's say everything looks a bit too close. You want the button a bit farther down. Well, we can easily do this. It's called the BR tag. All you have to do is go here and just do BR. I mean, this is basically it. So if we go over here. And as you guys can see, it's actually a bit more down. If we wanted to go farther down now, this is just for demonstration purposes. Let's just spam a couple. If you're actually creating your website, I do not suggest you do this um, because this won't make your website particularly responsive. So say you're on mobile, then it won't work as well. But 
let's say you're just like doing this for testing purposes or you just want to bring it a lot more down you can use one or two just to space things out anyways if we save this and go here you can see the button is a lot further down this brings us on to ids now id is basically the same thing as a class it can be changed in h uh, in css and but it has one big difference to it let's add a bunch of brs so now i do not recommend you guys i don't think you guys will ever add this many brs but let's just add enough so that our button actually reaches the end of the web page so let's add like a couple more stacks of it and i don't know why this is popping up every time let's add this much i think this is quite a bit a bit overkill but our button reaches all the way here and we have to scroll down to see it now let's see let's say we move this back up so now we just know that and we can change this to scroll down and now this is where i'll also introduce the image tags look so all you want to do for an image is slash img and then src whatever you want so this is placehold so it'll just be a placeholder you know nothing special it really won't demonstrate anything but what if we actually add a natural image so let me grab an image and i'll be back so all i did is i searched up bill stick on google and i grabbed my picture it's right here it's not the highest of quality but like it'll do so now if we go over here to random as you guys can see it's right here so if we scroll down the image if we put it here we can see it like this it's just a regular image so let's say we want to automatically scroll down well there's a way to do that i i call it using the id so if we give this image an id of say i don't know uh image right and then we go back up here what we do is the id when you're referring to id you always put a hashtag first and then you can do the id name so img and because we can get rid of this pop-up because we just want it on the same exact page you don't want it to open another page and do it so now that we did that we can go back and here we are right and i'll say we're too lazy to scroll down and click this and boom it automatically takes you down and it updates it right here this does not work with classes this is specific to image so just bear in mind with that before you try doing it with also a class but that is going to be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and before we guys leave i'm gonna assign like a project so a little thing to challenge you guys i want you guys to create a cookbook in pure html just like have an image like kind a couple of recipes or like how to do it and a link to where you found it from and like headers and stuff like that don't like care about making it look nice because we will be doing that in the next two and this cookbook will gradually progress on so this will be just like the bare bones of it and then when we do the css we'll make it look nice and then when we finally get to javascript we can actually add functionality to it to like a search bar and other things like that so that's gonna be it once again if you could hit subscribe thank you so much for 800 subscribers it really means a lot to me and that and until next time close to go see ya